There are many different e-bikes designed for different things. You have cargo bikes, you have mountain bikes, you have commuter bikes. What if there was one bike that could do absolutely everything? Now, no bike is going to be perfect at absolutely every category, but the Unero Spectre S gets surprisingly close. If I had to pick one bike that could do every type of riding I wanted to do, this would definitely be towards the top of my list. The bike is super smooth. Now, this isn't what I would call an inexpensive bike, but it is an excellent value. It's $38.99, so just under $4,000, which might seem like a lot, but when I get into the specs and what it can do, and the fact that I think this could potentially replace two or three electric bikes, I would buy it. This is a bike that you could go single track mountain biking with. You could take to the beach. You could ride in the snow. Whoa, this ice. Ooh. Yeah. Good stuff. There are some subtle but really important customization options. First off, let's discuss commuting because that's, I think, often a justification for buying an electric bike is, hey, if I buy this, I'm going to save some money. Although it doesn't come with fenders or a rear rack, they are an option. But I think the real heart of this bike is that it is a full suspension designed to handle tough terrain. Even there's a log crossing right here. Let me see if I can just hop over it. Yep. I think I bottom out a little bit on the, on the bottom there, but no big deal. It has a really nice rear suspension setup. It's using a DNM rear shock. They perform very well without being overly expensive. And then on the front of the bike, it has a really nice inverted suspension fork. Suspension feels really good, nice and plush. So right out of the box, this thing is going to be a trail capable machine. It's kind of a long geometry. If you look at the bike from the side, it looks nice and long, which means you'll get Really nice tracking at high speed. If you added the racks and fenders and want to take it off-road, this could make a great hunting bike. And even if you have a heavy load, the bike is not going to struggle, whether that's top speed or climbing steep hills. All right, we're going to do a downhill run right here. Full throttle, 28, 29, 30, 32, 34, 35. 35 cell, that's, I mean, almost 40 miles an hour, just throttle. This bike is gonna have more than enough power. It's using the Bafang Ultra Motor, which we know is rated for 1,000 watts, can peak at much more. Pedal Assist 3, coming up this hill. Super casual, lots of power out of this thing. And in combination with a SRAM 1x11 drivetrain, it has a really wide gear range. The rear cassette is an 11 by 42. My own personal research leads me to believe that SRAM are some of the most reliable. That's probably a topic for another video, but what I found is that the actual diameter of the rollers on the chain are a little bit larger and they just have a longer lifespan under high stress conditions. Shifting under a little bit of power is nice and smooth. Now this is a fairly heavy bike. At over 79 pounds, you're gonna need to stop that with something. It does have hydraulic brakes with 180 millimeter rotors, which I think are gonna be sufficient for most of the things this bike is going to be put through. The brakes are really, really nice seem to be pretty good, like really nice feeling. They're not super grabby, they're nice and smooth. If you are going to add additional weight, whether that's extra gear or a second battery, yes, I'll get to that in a moment. I think brakes, probably a larger than 180 millimeter rotor, going up to like a 203 or something, 
would be a suitable upgrade to consider. But yes, I did say second battery. So this bike has a built-in 48 volt, 17.5 amp hour battery. There is an option for a second 14 amp hour. So between the both, you could have 31.5 amp hours, or to put that in watt hours, that's about 1,500. With that kind of capacity, you could be going for 50, 60, 70, 80 mile rides. It's a long way. Is a fairly heavy full suspension fat bike the greatest on single track trails? No, it can do it for sure, but it's not gonna feel as nimble or as maneuverable. But guess what? You don't have to stick with just fat tires for this bike. You can also get an optional wheel set that gives you 27 and a half by three inch mountain bike wheels. Now you have a nimble trail bike. And that's why I think this is a great option for somebody who just wants to buy one bike that can basically do everything. I get to see a lot of different electric bikes how they perform, what the quality is like. And most of the time I review these bikes and then we get rid of them, we send them back to the manufacturer and that's that. The Unero Spectre S, I really like. The torque sensing of that Bafang Ultra motor. I love starting out with throttle. It's so nice. All of the specifications just come together to create a really good package and that's why we're offering them for sale on the area 13 e-bikes website and there's one last thing i need to mention you may be looking at this and thinking okay it's got two different frame size that's great it's got a few different colors anything from camo to really cool army green to just straight black it's got battery options but there's one thing missing what if i need something that's a little bit easier to get on Unero has taken this bike one step further. There is the Spectre ST standing for step through. So there is, yes, a full suspension step through version of this bike. The one limitation that version has is that it comes with the mountain bike tires and the fat tires are not currently an option. I can't wait to get back out on the mountain bike trails and ride bikes like this myself. You can pick one of these up assembled and ready to go at our facility in Grass Valley, California, or we can have one shipped out directly to you. If you wanna know more about how the second battery is mounted and connected to the bike, I have a video on a very similar bike right here. Whoa! You all right? You okay? So glad I got that in video if you're if you're okay. <laughs> <laughs>